What? Now that's a first. I have never punched a crappie before. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are out on the California Delta, 6.45 in the morning. And today, as most videos, is just another day of fishing. I've done this before and it's actually something I enjoy, but today we'll actually be weighing our best five, but also measuring them on the catch board. Kayak tournaments, it's all about CPR, catch photo release. And it's always, you know, kind of a, a question or a wondering as to what these lengths actually equate to as far as pounds go. As a general rule of thumb, usually if you have 100 inches, so on average a 20 inch bass for five fish, you're looking at about 23 to 25 pounds for a 100 inch bag. Yeah, we'll see what we get for our best five today. Give you a total length and weight. Other than that, just another day out on the California Delta. Here we go. a guaranteed buzzbait fish. I don't know how big it's going to be, but I can almost guarantee we're going to get bit here in this little trough. Dang it. Always when you least expect it. Oh man, I think he didn't even get it. Probably not a big one. Golly. Yeah, he didn't even get it at all. He just poked it from the bottom. Dude, this bite is terrible. This is the toughest the Delta has fished for me all year. At least for now. My gosh, I am very quickly losing confidence in this whole deal. God, I finally had one. <laughs> First fish connected of the day. It's a dink. But it was a fish. <laughs> Usually where there's one dink, there's more. Kind of want to just catch a dink right now to get the skunk out of the boat. Yeah, this is this is very concerning guys. Usually when you stand up, you'll spook fish and you'll kind of just get an idea that they're you know they're there, give you a little confidence, but I have not even spooked one yet. What is going on here? 
Guys, it's uh, 9.37 and uh, we have yet to catch a fish. We got a couple of blow ups that just missed the frog. I think they were small. And then one dinker on the chatter. But this is the hard thing to portray in the videos, especially the way the delta looks, is it can be super tough. And I think right now, at least this morning, it's one of those days for whatever reason. Now, the good thing is that it is the delta and because it's a tidal fishery, these spots that seemingly are terrible could change with a different tide or a different time of day whatnot so we're just gonna keep covering water try to get at least one fish my goodness that would seem like a miracle at this point plan to uh weigh five fish measure five fish is not uh not going accordingly at this point i don't know Oh my god, skunk out of the boat! It's not a keeper, but it's the skunk out of the boat. It's bleeding. It came off this big old tree in the water. You don't see that too often in the delta. Unless you're in the right spots. Oh my gosh. Can't believe it, we actually caught a fish. Good depth over here. It's this punch city over here. Oh, finally. Oh, I hate to say it, I think that's a keeper. It is a keeper. Goodness me. All right, that's a welcome sign. A little punch fish. Let's see what we got here. This one. Yeah. So that one's yeah, 13, 13 and a quarter. It's a pretty small one, 13 and a quarter. Oh my God, we actually get to measure and weigh one. 13 and a quarter, what do you think it weighs? I'm gonna say a pound and, pound and an ounce. It's a skinny one, kinda. Oops, easy. One, three. Well, we're on the board. Just took like four hours. Still something a little more natural. The water is pretty clear over here. Go with a uh, green pumpkin green. Seen a lot of bluegill around here. Might be a little bit better color in the clear water as well. Got our ounce and a quarter, tungsten bullet weight, a couple of bobber stops, and that'll be our jam for now. Oh. Dude, that definitely got bit. Is he still on? He is on. Wow, I let that hang there for a long time. There's a fish there. That's the first flip with the green pumpkin. It's like a clone fish. All right, well, I think punching is our deal. At this point, I can't take any of these fish for granted. 12 and a quarter. Going the wrong direction. One pound. <laughs> 12 and a quarter, one pound. Man, we're on fire. Go. Oh, there's. Ooh. Oh, stay, stay in the boat. Stay in the boat. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. There's a keeper. I want a little bit more respectable than our little pounders. So he's kind of skinny. What we got for length here? Lengthwise, this one's gonna go 15 and three quarter. And wait. Two pounds on the nose. Alrighty, decent one. 15 three quarter. Look at all these bluegill beds. You can see them. I'm sure some of these bluegill beds extend 
underneath these mats and if there's a bass sitting there, seems to want to munch it. Way back up in there. <laughs> yep, punch bites on. <sighs> I think I've said that a few times. Dude, they're under all these little patches of hyacinth. It's pretty obvious they're making it. That one's not a keeper. But it's a fun bite. There we go. Thank you, sir. Another small one, but it's a keeper. Like I said, I'd be happy with five today. Uh, Thirteen and a half. One four. Dinks galore. This is supposed to be a big fish technique. <laughs> Doing everything right except the big fish part. <laughs> what? Now that's a first. I've never punched a crappie before. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, it makes you wonder. I think thumped it. It's probably a big school of crappie under this, this mat right here. The crappie punch pattern. I don't know what size it's gonna be, but I can guarantee we're gonna catch a fish on a drop shot. I'm seeing some good looking bottom. And I know there's gonna be some bass over there. Yep, little one. Probably could go to town on the drop shot, but stick with the punch and just hope keep getting bit. I'm getting some better bites, that's for sure. We only have a limit, yeah, I need number five. I thought that crappie was number five. You gotta love seeing this. Another stretch of this green, punchy goodness. We had a good stretch back there, and here's the other one that I can see. Not really seeing anything else in the distance, but this is a pretty good stretch. As long as it's got a little depth, which I think it does, we'll uh, probably be able to punch some more fish. Fingers crossed. We need one more for five, so we can at least say what five fish length to weight would equate to. Now, what was that? Whoa, maybe that was that. Oh, dang it, did I lose him? Did I? I got thumped. I did, dang it. Who knows, could have been a rat. Always gets you excited though. Oh, I got thumped right there. How did he not get it? The rod just jerked. Probably another crappie. Mm, 
short. Man, it's gonna be that hard to get five keepers today? Been stuck on four for a while now. Alright, maybe, maybe, maybe we can just beat this bank with a chatter. A little wind, water's up a little bit. I hate to say this, but this was way later than I was supposed to stay out, but I just want to catch a fifth fish. I feel like I can't leave without getting at least five. Granted, we have a super dinky limit right now. The only thing that would make it even look respectable is like a 10 pounder at this point. Or... I dink. Okay, that's a bite at least on the chatter. Gives me a little faith we might be able to squeak out one more 12 incher before we head home. Oh, I had a bite. Probably a dink, but I will take it at this point as long as it's 12 inches. Dink. I have a dink on it. Oh yeah, a little dink. Love the dinks. Man, even the dinks are biting all weird. Oh, oh my god, do we actually have a keeper? What is that? Wow. Giants, man. Giants. Oh, I thought we may have had a 12 incher for a second. Dude, that's... that's not 12. Ooh, that's fat. It's not long, though. Two o'clock, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, um... There's really no other way to put it other than uh, today was an absolute grind. It was a struggle, probably the toughest day I've had on the Delta all year. We covered water, we tried a bunch of stuff. I mean, we got a little bit of a punch deal going on, but these fish were just, uh, they just weren't eating good today. I'm not sure exactly what was going on. Thought the tide was gonna be good for us. We had moving water pretty much all day and uh, just could not get anything going. And of course the ones we did catch were, were pretty small. So yeah, as far as the plan and uh, getting five fish and doing the, the Comparison, epic fail. Uh, we did catch four, and I think our total for our four fish weight wise was five pounds seven ounces, and that equates to 54 and three quarters of an inch, which of course is one fish shy of a limit. Yeah, not the uh, most successful or ideal comparison. I was hoping maybe we'd get around 80, 85 inches today and show you what that weighed, but not to be today. Like I said in previous videos, when I fish, I film, I upload, and you guys see the results and even tough days like this are a reality and part of fishing. Definitely why they call it fishing and not catching. Part of the sport, part of the game. Yeah, that was my experience today. I'm gonna get out of here, pack up, head home. As always, thanks for coming along, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. It was a struggle, but hope you enjoyed it either way. And I will catch you guys in the next video.